Today I'm going to go through the extremely frugal things that we've done to pay off debt and save money. Frugal is relative. To the frugal community on YouTube, I'm not very frugal. To my friends in real life, I'm super frugal. For today's video, the definition of frugal is anything that we do to save money. And some of these are like super crazy person frugal and some of these are less so. Because I'm always looking for more frugal tips, go down in the comments section and tell me like the most frugal thing that you've ever done in your life. For us, number one, we live with my parents. It wasn't intentionally frugal, but it had a frugal side bonus. The second frugal thing that y'all know I do is I color my own hair. Actually, I don't do it. My husband, Mauricio, does it for me and he does a great job. The third thing that we do is we buy a lot of our clothes on Poshmark. In fact, I bought this shirt on Poshmark. It's St. John's. I got it for a steal. Number four, we use Ebates, which is now Rakuten. I've been using them for years. And if we're gonna buy anything online, we click through Rakuten first, go to their website, find out where we can get it the cheapest, and move forward. Number five, we never buy water. We always drink from the tap. We actually down in the kitchen have filtered water in one of the spigots, but I don't even drink that. I just drink straight from the tap because that's the water I grew up on. Why wouldn't I keep drinking it? Number six, I wear single disposable contacts twice. So every day when I take them out, if I open them that day, I put them in the little case, I save them and I wear them again the second day and then throw them away. Number seven, I use a scrubby for our shower gel. So in our shower, we have this great little scrubby and I put one pump of the shower gel on it and that cleans my whole body. This is akin to mixing your shower gel with water to dilute it a little bit. And I actually, as the bottle gets empty, I add water to it and so it dilutes it even more still only one pump so we have this big bottle of keel shower gel and it will last us for a long long time number eight i put on my foundation first with my fingertips and then i i feather it out with a makeup brush because if you put the makeup directly on a sponge or a brush it actually sucks up a lot of the makeup and you end up wasting it number nine i stopped buying perfume I like perfume. I don't wear it every day. I wear it, you know, special occasions and it's only one squirt. But I discovered that if I buy things certain places, I get free perfume samples. So like every year when I when I have to buy my supplies for of makeup from Sephora, they always send me perfume samples. So I like to use those as my perfume and it lasts me the whole year. I have probably 8 or 10 samples in my drawer right now. And I love them. Number 10, I use Carmex instead of lipstick. So you'll see in my videos that sometimes I wear lipstick because I do have lipstick, but I don't wear it every day. I actually wear Carmex on my lips and it keeps them, I have naturally, I guess, dry lips and it keeps them so super healthy. Number 11, I go to multiple grocery stores. I know where I can get the cheapest vegetables. I can get them at Trader Joe's or H Mart. So when I've got things to buy vegetable wise or fruit wise, I go to one of those two places. I'll go to Wegmans and I will buy their Wegmans brand stuff because their, their name brand stuff is more expensive, but their store brand stuff is actually cheaper. Number 12, I actually just mentioned we buy grocery store generic and we usually do this at Wegmans because the Wegmans brand is super, super cheap. Like we can get a can of beans for like 49 cents, whereas a can of beans at Giant or Harris Teeter or Fresh Market or Amazon Fresh all cost 99 cents. So it's half. Number 13, I make a grocery list and I stick to it going off the grocery list inevitably cost me a ton of money. And this is super important at Trader Joe's. For whatever reason, if I'm gonna go off the grocery list, it's always at Trader Joe's. And it may or may not be in the wine section. Number 14, we keep the house super cool and we wear sweatshirts. So I got this big fuzzy hoodie thing 
and I'm not gonna lie, when I go down in the middle of winter into the kitchen, it is probably 50 degrees. And it has a lot to do with the way the house is heated. So in our bedroom, the heat comes up from the downstairs. So we don't need to turn the heat on during the winter time at all because our bedroom is 72 degrees, easy. The kitchen, however, gets very cold and we could turn on the heat and warm up the kitchen, but we don't. When we're down there, we just put on a big fuzzy sweatshirt and do what we need to. And what's best about it is when I'm cooking dinner and the oven's on, the kitchen doesn't get very hot. It just warms it up to a comfortable temperature. But when we have guests, they might judge us. <laughs> Number 15, we travel on credit card points. And the entire purpose for us to have a credit card is points. And we did that because we were paying so much money for Mauricio to go to school. We're paying for it in cash. We pay off the bill every month, but we have enough to go to Columbia, I think twice now for free. So totally worth it because it doesn't cost us a cent. Number 16, I make my own espresso. Every morning I have little Starbucks coffee pods. So it tastes just like Starbucks. I make my own. I get, we have the same vanilla that they use. It's great. Our little Nespresso machine is fantastic. Number 17, we use Amazon Fresh for grocery delivery. One, because it's cheaper. Two, because when I'm shopping online, I don't even think about straying from the budget. I actually like key in the word that I'm searching for, look for the brand I want and click and I'm good to go. I very rarely over buy groceries when I'm shopping online. Number 18, we cut way back on takeout. Takeout costs money. And here, holy free holies, it is expensive. We can't go to Five Guys for under 80 bucks for this family. Number 19, I stopped shopping as a fun thing to do. Like sometimes I used to go into like the home store or home goods or something, just wander around for entertainment purposes. I stopped doing that because I ended up buying stuff I didn't need. Number 20, we quit the gym. I wanna quit the gym. You wanna quit? I wanna quit the gym. <laughs> you do realize you won't have access to our new full service Swedish spa. <laughs> I want to quit the gym. Mauricio and I had a super expensive Equinox gym membership and we quit it in lieu of exercising outside and exercising at our offices. Number 21, this is a super secret thing. So y'all know I do the online mail order dinners with like every plate and home chef well, what I realized is that if I rotate between three, Home Chef, Every Plate, and Dinnerly, if I stop using one for a month, they actually will send me a like, come back to us email with a discount. So what I do is I buy two weeks with one, and then the next one for two weeks, and the next one for two weeks, and by the time I'm ready to come back, I've gotten a discount email. It's awesome. Number 22. We do buy pre-prepared foods, but when we do, we stretch them a lot. So for example, a couple of weeks ago, Costco had this stew and my dad loves stew. Mauricio does too. And it's, you know, just beef with potatoes and carrots and bleh. I'm not a fan, but I'm not a big meat eater. Well, the serving was actually really small. I didn't want to wait to get another one. So what I did is I just chopped up a bunch of extra carrots and a bunch of extra potatoes and mixed it in and onions and nobody knew the difference and it fed my whole family a lot. Number 23, we drive a 16 year old car. The green beast is a beast, but I took good care of it. And so it's not, it's not in horrible shape. It's actually doing pretty well. We've had it for years. The transmission's going on it and we need to get it fixed. We're trying to decide if we're gonna fix the transmission or go ahead and buy a new car. So we're just borrowing my parents' car right now. Number 24, we use foaming soap containers because when you mix your soap with water, it lasts longer. Number 25, whoever has the longest drive drives the electric car. Why? Because it gets way better gas mileage. We actually have a hybrid gas electric. So it, the first 15 miles are on electricity. And after that, it switches to gas. So 
it saves us a lot of money. We also factor in things like Melina's ice skating. So if it's a day where Mauricio has to go to and from work and then he's got to come home and take Melina to and from skating, he's actually driving more mileage than I am. So those days he would take the car. Number 26, date night is movie night at home. We don't do date night very often. I love going out for dinner and just hanging out and having a couple of drinks with Mauricio and maybe a couple of friends or whatever. But we have started renting movies online for date night and it actually has been great. Although I'm not gonna lie, we fall asleep about half of the time we're watching movies. <laughs> Number 27, we use microfiber cloths instead of paper towels. So I found these great microfiber cloths on Amazon and I'll put a link down in the description box. I love them. They're like super thick and high quality, fantastic. And they come in a big pack and we use those all over the house and they're gray so they don't show dirt so if they get stains on you can't tell number 28 in line with that we use these eco-friendly cleaning cloths instead of sponges my sponges they smell after like a day and i'm super sensitive to sponge smell i don't know why nobody else in the house notices it but i can smell it from like the other room i'm constantly you know throwing them in the dishwasher throwing them in the microwave whatever so finally i found these cloths and they're great and i'll link those too down in the description box box because when i hang them they dry out completely very quickly so i can use them a day or two and then throw them in the laundry and they wash up great and then when it's time to use them again you just put water on them and they they rehydrate themselves number 29 costco chicken yeah five dollars for a giant chicken yes please that's a meal yeah. In line with that, number 30 is I always save the carcass of any poultry that we have. Chicken, turkey, whatever. It, ham bones also, which not poultry, but you get the meal. And I use the bones to make a bone broth. And with the ham bone, because it's just one big bone, I throw it in there and I usually throw like some beans and extra little bits of ham and bacon and make like a bean soup with, you know, bay leaves and garlic and blah, blah, blah. And it's great and cornbread gotta serve it with cornbread number 31 we switch to an electric razor razor disposable razors get really expensive and so for the cost of about what two packs at costco of disposable razor blades cost you can buy an electric razor because Mauricio can, on his face, he can only use a razor blade a few times. And then I would use it on my legs when he was done with it. And the best part is we can use it for clippers for the back of his hair. So I can clean up the edges of the back of his head and he can go for an extra two weeks without getting a haircut. Number 32, I make my own yogurt. I love homemade yogurt. It tastes delicious. And I found these super mild starter kits. So I make really, really mild yogurt and I'll link those down in the description box. And you can do it in Instapot, I do it in the oven. Yeah, I've done it every which way. It is so easy and saves so much money. Number 33, I take my lunch to work. So I was just talking with one of my coworkers about this and I actually buy pre-prepared salads. And at Trader Joe's, they cost $3.99 for a, a nice size salad or sandwich or whatever, and that's my lunch. Sometimes I buy them at Wegmans, but those are a little more expensive, and Amazon Fresh has some great salads too, um, but again, those are more expensive. My Some of my coworkers, they also eat salads every day, and they go to Honey Grow or one of those places, and they spend about $15 on a salad, and my salads are just as good. I'm In fact, I love them as much. Number 34, I freeze fresh fruits and vegetables that are close to going bad. This is super true for bananas. I wait until they get almost all black and then freeze them because then they may, are great for smoothies. Really great. And then fruits and vegetables, we just throw them in smoothies and they're wonderful. Number 35, I shop for my bakery items on the day old rack. At our local grocery stores, they always have a day old rack in the bakery section that's kind of hidden off to the side. And I always go there first and look for loaves of bread and, you know, breakfast type items, croissants, donuts, whatever. And I will buy them there rather than the brand new ones because they taste the same. And it's going to take us a couple of days to eat them. So they're going to be a day old tomorrow. So now they're just two days old. Number 36, we buy most of our furniture on Facebook Marketplace. And we've done this for years. In fact, any big item, I always look for it on Facebook Marketplace. For example, we bought Melina 
an Electra bicycle, a $350 bike for 50 bucks, and it looked brand stinking new. We bought Melina's loft bed on Facebook Marketplace for $250, and it's a $1,500 loft bed. Sure, it was, you know, a little bit beaten up, and we had to do a couple of things to fix it up, but Melina didn't care. She had a loft bed, she was excited. Number 37, we use Amazon subscribe and save for the things that we buy regularly. Because when you use subscribe and save, you can save between five and 15% on the item, depending on the item. And the one thing I've gotta warn you about with with that is that sometimes the prices do change. So you need to keep an eye on that. So if you like this video, you're gonna love this 50 tips for a frugal and minimalist style. These are 50 things that I did to be more frugally and minimalistically minded. So I'll see you in the next one.